Today I'm going to show you what's inside a muffler and how it works. Here's what the stock muffler sounds like on the vehicle. A muffler is responsible for cancelling some of the sound waves that come through the exhaust from the engine. On this Toyota, the muffler is held in by this clamp here which is connected to a hanger up at the top. So we've got two bolts to remove here and then two bolts to remove over at the flange here. Alright, so the bolt on this side of the strap broke. Now if you follow the tailpipe forward, it leads to this resonator over here and then it goes out to the catalytic converter back here. What I'm going to do is chop it off right in the middle here. Alright, so here I've got the muffler, the flange, the exhaust pipe that goes out to the resonator all removed from the vehicle. Here's what a Corolla sounds like with no exhaust. Alright, so I've got a brand new blade on my grinder. I'm going to grind this open to see how it works. So it seems like this is a heat shield on top. I'm going to try to rip that off. Now I'm going to make an incision along the side here. Alright, so you can kind of see the inside of the muffler here. There's these two baffles here that are welded to the outside sheets. So instead of trying to fight those welds on the baffles, I'm just going to cut it here and grind it down. Alright, so I've got the muffler all chopped up. I'll just show you the basic components. On the top here, we've got this heat shield. And then I've chopped this up into a couple of pieces here. You'll see that all around the body of the muffler, there's actually two layers of metal and that's to help to absorb the sound when the sound bounces off the wall of the muffler. Now if we open this up here, you can see the inside body of the muffler. Alright, so the basics of this muffler here is we've got the inlet tube over here and we've got the outlet tube over here. And the general flow of exhaust from the inlet goes around this way and then back out to the outlet like that. We've got three chambers in the middle here. Now this kind of muffler is called a reverse flow or a turbo style muffler because the exhaust gases have to go in and go around before it goes back out. So at idle, most of the exhaust gases will enter the muffler here and it will come to the second chamber in the middle here that has these perforations. Pressure will build up between here and some of the exhaust gases will escape going either to this chamber or to this chamber through this bypass hole over here. Now the distance between these two baffles here are calculated so that it cancels the sound at idle as they bounce off the walls and destructively interfere, therefore muffling the noise. Sound travels in the exhaust stream and is represented by this wave. Now the distance between the two peaks here are called the wavelength or lambda and the relationship of lambda to the frequency of the sound is related by the speed divided by the frequency. Now a sound wave will travel along here and strike the back of the muffler, some of it will be absorbed and some of it will bounce back. Now the supersession of two waves, the red one over here and the green one over here, that are 180% out of phase are represented over here. So what happens here is that the amplitude of the red wave will destructively interfere with the amplitude of the green wave and your net amplitude is zero and you therefore get no sound. Now in theory there's no sound, but in reality there actually is because we still have these two baffles that are set up to only destroy a certain set of frequencies. Now when you rev your engine a little bit or let's say VVTI or VT tech kicks in, we've got more exhausts that flow through the system. So now it'll pass this stage here and it'll head over to this third chamber over here. And sound will bounce off of the back wall of the muffler and this baffle over here. And again this distance is calculated so that it destructively interferes and muffles the sound. Now once the third chamber has built up some pressure, most of the exhaust gases will flow back over here into the first chamber. But hold on, this muffler is not that simple. We've got this little spring door here in the last chamber that only opens up when a certain amount of back pressure pushes it open. And what that does is it allows the remaining exhaust gases and sound to enter this third chamber here. Now any remaining sound waves will bounce off of these two walls here, the front wall of the muffler, as well as this baffle here. And any remaining exhaust gases through a high flow situation will exit the exhaust pipe over here, head through the second baffle and the first baffle, and out the tailpipe. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of engineering that goes on behind designing a muffler here, from the distance between these baffles here to this active trap door that varies the frequency according to engine RPM, as well as the double material used on the outside shell to dampen sound. Now most OEM mufflers are made of a really high grade, dual layer stainless steel, which is why they last so long and don't rust out. You can see that they've actually stamped a Toyota logo on the inside plate of this muffler here 
which is pretty cool. So one downside of this design is, as hot exhaust gases are bouncing off these baffles, a lot of condensation will occur and water will build up on the bottom here, allowing it to rust out from the inside. So one thing you could do as a preventative measure to make your exhaust last longer is to flip it over here and drill holes in the bottom to allow that water to escape. And that's pretty much behind what goes into the muffler of your beige Corolla. Stay tuned because next time I'm going to show you what's inside of a catalytic converter.